hi hello everyone it's kira here and we are getting ready for a pop-up it is my first pop-up of the season and will probably be my last for the year <laughs> um, because i find them quite stressful so join me as we organize some stickers print some stickers finish up some paintings and generally have a panic attack due to the stress of the situation Now, don't get me wrong, pop-ups aren't stressful, usually. <laughs> um, I had lots of supplies on hand and it did give me a huge opportunity to learn how to properly use my um, sticker cutter machine and make some new stickers and edit them and everything, which I absolutely love. And I also did original paintings for the first time. Usually I just sell my um, prints of my witches and my aliens and stuff like that. But because I had been working with the Posca pens on canvas and the acrylic gouache on canvas for quite some time, I thought I would just go ahead and get rid of the stock that I had on hand. So I tortured myself by saying, oh, I should overstock my supplies and make more paintings. And so at the last minute, I am finishing up some plant paintings and some spooky window paintings. I don't know what I was thinking and hopefully I'm not the only one here but hopefully I am at the same time because this is like the worst possible way that you could be as a human being but I like to take a situation that is pretty simple pretty easy for example <laughs> this pop-up so we're gonna do a pop-up you already have supplies to sell but instead of just selling the supplies that you have or the products that you have, I should say, you decide that you're going to make more and you pressure yourself to make more and then you just stress yourself out. <laughs> that was me, especially on the last day. So it was Friday. My pop-up was on Saturday and I am trying desperately to finish up all of these spooky canvases and some plant pictures that I was doing. And I don't know what I was thinking. I hope I'm the only one because it's like the worst possible way that you could be. But at the same time, I'd like to relate to somebody here <laughs> and tell me how you cope with the situation.
So I finally finished most of the paintings I wanted to finish. And Saturday gets here, I decide to give myself a little break and just work on the pop-up presentation, right? That's like the best part. You get to organize your stuff, you get to set up the little display, you get to have like little knickknacks that kind of like pop and bring it to people's attention. The best part, right? I even take a little lunch break. I make myself a nice little lunch to get ready for the pop-up because it's in the evening and I take it outside and it's a beautiful sunny day and it's not too hot and I'm thinking, yeah, I got this. I'm I am ready for this pop-up. I love my display. There's a little bit of a Halloween side with some cute little Halloween drawings. Of course, I have all my stickers and my witches and my aliens. And then I have my more like modern pop window flower pieces, you know, a little bit of something for everybody. I love my display. I think it's great. I'm super excited now. I'm very pumped. So I'm like, let's wrap it up. Let's go. And so I pack everything up and I get to the pop-up site and you would not believe it. <laughs> it just so happened to be the windiest day ever. <laughs> All of a sudden in the evening, the wind picked up and it was blowing. Our um, <laughs> little canopy almost got blown away. All of my stuff was flying everywhere and it was freezing cold. <laughs> like my display didn't turn out how I wanted it to. There wasn't a lot of people there, but I did sell a lot of stickers. And uh, in the end, I guess I'm glad I did it. Lessons were learned. And so I want to thank you so much for joining me on this random journey of doing a pop-up when the weather isn't the best. And I mean that both mentally, your mental weather, <laughs> and the actual physical weather. So thank you again, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.